new stuff, how is it different, yada yada. There's that part, new, okay? The other part, in, well, they're both important. <clears throat> so what? It's always a good question. So what? What difference does it make? What are the differences that it makes? That it makes? Um, one can get on any side and in between, either side and in between of this so what question with almost everything under the sun, but certainly with media stuff. Okay? So what? Right? So what? That it has this form instead of that form. So what that people spend this much time with it or that much time with it? So what that it works this way or that way? It's media. It ain't rocks. It ain't air. It's not food. It's not water. It's not my significant other. It's not my family. It's actually not my school. It's not my job. Gee, that's an awful lot of what it isn't. So what? Yeah. Now, we do spend a lot of time with it, which is something we'll talk about over the course of the term quite a bit. <clears throat> so anything you spend a lot of time with, maybe just because you spend a lot of time with it, that's the answer, so what? Uh, I just saw a piece on CNN yesterday. I don't know if I have it to show you right now. I might, but um, uh, uh, 20s and down... Uh, are up to about uh, every waking hour. <laughs> we used to talk about hours during the day. <laughs> 20s and down, generally speaking, are every waking hour when they're not asleep or in school with media. So it's got to matter because it's ubiquitous, but yet, does it really matter? And you can start to break into that and, and, and look. So just an example that I've always used that I like to use because I almost always know the answer. Every once in a while, you people turn on a radio. I know it's getting to be kind of old media, but nevertheless, you, you turn on a radio and you hear a song and you hear an advertisement and you hear a, uh, a public service announcement and you hear another couple of songs and some scores and some sports and whatever. When's the last time you heard something on the radio that you immediately stopped and did something about? You know, heard an ad, oh, I got to go to Jim McComb Chevrolet and buy a car. And I heard an ad, oh, I got to go buy some Budweiser. I'm going to get me some girls. You know, so if, if, if we did a survey of your radio time and its impact, you might very well say, it doesn't matter at all. Hardly matters at all. Hardly affects me. Right? And it's in that media mix. So we can start breaking out stuff. Yeah. So the last time you voted in an election, which is probably only once. You know, what were you, how much were you exposed to this source and this perspective as opposed to this source and this perspective? And how much did it influence you? Well, not really, because what influenced me was the way I was raised and what my roommate did and the arguments I had with my girlfriend or boyfriend. And what I think. But all that stuff I heard on the, on the news and I went to, eh, about the cultivation theory. There are lots of theories about what these effects are. So would that make it important to study? That be well, there are, as I say, there are, there are lots of proposals, some of which we'll look at, about whether these things matter or not. But just because someone's got a theory about whether it matters or not doesn't make it matter. But, but you're absolutely right. There are folks who say media is everything. Essentially determines everything about the way we see the world and the way we interact with it. We construct everything that happens out of essentially our exchanges with each other. They're mostly mediated now, so it's everything. And then there's folks who kind of go through and say, eh, you know, it doesn't really have much effect on me, really. I take in some information, uh, not much, really, come right down to it. So how much it matters is the other part. Okay. Now there's other stuff that we're going to study in between, but those are really the two big questions. What's this new thing? How does it fit in with what it does? Is it really new? What's new about it? What are the new effects? What are the new problems, issues? What about new? And the other one is, to what degree does it matter? Does it matter at all? And how? What ways does it matter? Okay. 
those are the two big pieces, and then we'll kind of kind of break it down from there. So points of view about the degree to which media matter. I talked about it, but I forgot to use the technical terms, so I want to go back and remind you of them very quickly. Um, this is kind of a continuum, a line, you know, plus, minus, and in the middle. Um, on the left, we have a point of view that's known as media determinism, which essentially says um, dominant media influence and change everything. We are who we are because of what the media makes us. You know, um, I'm gonna, now I'm going to insult you and uh, all your families and everybody you've ever met because I'm going to overgeneralize about you, so I'm not. Forgive me. But you guys are a bunch of money-hungry capitalists who are over-invested in buying material things because the media advertises to you and you can't stand not having the stuff, so you play the game, therefore. And it's television's fault. Media determinism. The TV guys, of course, say what in response to that? What do the TV industry guys say when they hear that? The sage, the public dictates what they present Yeah, we, we're only giving them what they want. We're not, we're not, we're not forcing any. Nobody forces these people to turn that thing on and switch it to channel seven at eight o'clock at night, and and keep coming back and back and back to whatever it is, ER or friends or house or whatever it is. Nobody, what, what, excuse me, who's chained to their television? Who's got a little implant that, you know, it automatically goes on at 6 o'clock at night and forces people to do that? And on top of that, yeah, they see the ad that nobody drags their you-know-what out to the store, makes their hand go up and buy that object that they supposedly don't need, with money they don't have. What do you mean media determines? It's actually social determinism. Folks dictate what it is they want out of their media based on how they use it. Media just fills in that space. Folks open up an action space because they provide for industry a need. They show that there's a market and folks who want to make a dollar out of that market just come rushing in. But it's the other way around. People dictate. And then there's the mid-ground, which is, which is social shaping. This notion that media probably has some role in shaping our behavior. I mean, you know, it can't be that that guy back there is wearing that C on his hat because he really likes that football team. It just can't be. They're, they're just not good enough for that. Okay? It must be that over time, history, culture, media, enough bear games on, enough advertising about the bears, enough, you know, making them into a big deal, and the culture has convinced him that, man, eh, what the hell, I'll wear my bears hat today. Okay? It's not deterministic. On the other hand, he didn't just go out and pick that one because he liked to see. Someplace in between, we've been shaped. And we shape the media. What if he doesn't buy it? And nobody buys it. And nobody buys a ticket. And nobody watches them. And nobody goes. Eventually they pack up and they move to Baltimore in the middle of the night when no one's watching. Oh wait, that was Baltimore to Indianapolis. I'm sorry, but you get the point. You know, we shape we shape the media, right? If when what's his name goes off American Idol or whatever the heck that program is, it, when he leaves, oh, and what's her name comes on, uh, no one watches. Eventually, that program starts to change or disappears. Okay, so it's in both directions. So, but you know, the the point of that is you can find examples. They're very clear, in which media determinism looks like it's absolutely the answer for everything. There are lots of instances in which you can say, look, honestly, if you look at the way this works, it's the medium doing it. It's the media doing it. And then there's some that you can go the other direction and say, no, 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 no. it's the people. It's the culture. And, and every place in between. 